Welcome back to Physics 246 Online. This is going to be a very brief introduction on how to use the software Igor Pro to open a data file and then to display it. Uh, there's a detailed tutorial on how to do some simple analysis that's provided in the Igor Pro reference sheet that you'll find uploaded to Blackboard. So once you follow the instructions in that reference sheet and install Igor Pro on your own computer, you just open it, like I'm showing here, and so you'll see Igor Pro, and there's a window that opens at the top that initially has nothing in it. Now rather than enter data manually by hand in Igor Pro, it's much more convenient to first put the X and Y data columns along with any error columns in an Excel spreadsheet and then use Igor to upload the spreadsheet. So rather than using file to open an experiment or a file, data is the right tab to use and Igor Pro refers to a plot as a wave. <clears throat> and so a wave is composed of an X column and a Y column of data. So we're going to load a wave from an Excel file. And there's a file called test fit that I have provided in Blackboard and I suggest that you follow through what I'm doing right now on your own and open that file up. So the load Excel file window opens, you click file, then you go on your computer where you have downloaded that file. I have a course folder for Physics 246, which is always a good idea to do with a course you're taking. And the file is called test fit. So when you open it up, actually yeah, you just identify the file and then on the bottom left hand corner of these windows, uh, Igor Pro has a button called do it. So that just means okay, do it. And you'll see now what's been uploaded. The first column on the left is the point number and that's not something that's in the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has a column for X and for Y and then for two sigma columns uh, because I wanted to show what would happen using two different choices for the error values. But we're going to just use sigma 1 here. So it's always a really good idea here to uh, to take a look at the data that you're going to try to fit before you do any kind of fitting. Because we don't know before we look at this data what type of fitting function it might be useful to use. So let's take a look at it first. And under Windows we can click New Graph and as I said before, Igor Pro refers to data in terms of waves, and so the Y wave is the Y column. And if I look on the little spreadsheet, you'll see that the X underscore Y, that's the Y data, and then it has a column for X wave, and I want to click X underscore X for that, and just click Do It, so we can see what the graph looks like and you'll see now the graph displayed. And I'm going to move it down here. Uh, what I didn't say at the outset was that Igor Pro displays the data at the top in a box that looks like a spreadsheet. And then at the very bottom there's a log file. And the log file uh, contains a running display of exactly what I have asked the program to do. So you'll see it starts with Excel file load from worksheet sheet 1 and then uh, it loads the X and Y waves, and then it, the last thing I just did was to display the graph, XY versus XX. And so you'll see this graph has two peaks that might be Gaussian type peaks in nature. Uh, we're not going to do any detailed fitting right now, but you'll see, for example, once I look at this, I know that I'm not going to want to use a linear function to try to fit these data and I would need to come up with some kind of fitting function that would more appropriately describe these data points. But in order to modify the graph, there's a lot of custom uh, customizability that Igor Pro has. If you just double click on the graph itself, then you can see that there is a window that opens that's called Modify Trace Appearance. And the very first thing that we want to do is get rid of the lines between points and just go to Markers. And the default marker uh, here is the plus. You can change that to a lot of different options. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as 
a plus for now, but you can, whatever you like there. Uh, colors also you can play with. So if I just go down and click do it, you can see that instead of the lines connecting the data points, we see the data points themselves, and that's good. Now, what we'd like to do is display uh, error values. And so, if we double click on the graph again, you'll see an option for error bars. So we click on error bars, and then we're prompted for what column of data we want to use as our error bars. So there's actually the ability that Igor Pro has to display error bars in both the X and Y directions. And in our course, we will mostly be using uh, data sets where the error in Y is the significant error. So we click plus minus wave, and it also has the ability to click uh, different columns for, for the plus direction as well as the minus direction. Normally, we are going to have error bars that will be symmetrical that way. So the Y minus, we will leave as same as Y plus. But under Y plus right now, we're going to click the Sigma 1 column of data, and now just OK. And then we go do it here. And you can see superimposed on the data points are now vertical error bars. Uh, some of them are very small, so small that you can barely see them. But on some of the points, particularly the ones with the larger number uh, on the y-axis, those error values are more significant. And you can see them. So at this point, now we would go on. And in the Excel uh, reference sheet, the, the uh, Igor Pro reference sheet that I gave you, you'll be able to see how you could proceed from here to define a fitting function and then to use Igor Pro to figure out the values of the parameters in that fitting function that most closely match the data. And we'll be using Igor Pro for many future assignments in the course, so I hope that you'll go through the tutorial that I gave you uh, in the reference sheet and uh, get more familiar with using it. For the homework assignment coming up, you'll be using this to do first just some linear data fitting, and then we'll move on and do some more complicated cases of polynomial functions and then more general functions. So I uh, hope this has been a good introduction. Play around with Igor Pro. You will probably find lots of things, lots of features that it has that I haven't even talked about. So I hope that you'll uh, enjoy it, and I'll see you in class.